Utah Technologies Corporation. Hi, good afternoon. Um, I hope you had a good lunch. So I'm Timmy from Pay Ruler. Uh, GNI Hut is actually our incorporated name, but the product that we carry and we um, yeah, our flagship product is Pay Ruler. So according to a study by the Stanford School of Business, it's really the people and not the products that are the key differentiator in a company's future success. And the stewards of those, um, of that all too important asset within the company is actually the HR department. However, um, it was also found in that same study that 60% of HR's time is actually spent on administrative tasks and tedious things, and only 40% on actual strategy creating. 60% out of a day is actually five hours out of your eight hour day. Can you imagine that? So that's uh, why we created PayRuler. So PayRuler is a comprehensive and customizable human resource management system catered for Philippine businesses. So we actually integrate the entire employee life cycle from hiring up to retiring. We automate reports generation for internal reporting and external reporting to government. And we also streamline HR's admin work by allowing employees to do things for themselves. We have clients in 12 out of the 17 Philippine industries as recognized by the DTI, which means that we have proven capability in providing automation for most of the businesses in the Philippines. So we have to date processed 9 billion of payroll, pay, 9 billion pesos worth of payroll, um, and we have over a thousand users in our systems. So some of our happy clients are here. Uh, one is notably the PSC, who is one of our nearest clients, I, oldest clients, sorry, and we have um, companies as small as eight, but also as big as 20,000 employees. We have six core modules to address the most tedious and repetitive parts of HR. So we start with hiring, uh, employee information databasing, timekeeping, payroll, and employee self-serve. Within Payruler also, we actually have 70 standard reports that provide metrics for HR to report on or for them to monitor the progress of the organization. But now and now, nowadays, to address, to help businesses become respond competitively to the fourth industrial revolution. We really need to be providing analytics, which is more moving and more live data versus just metrics. So we once thought that the data within Payruler or any of our systems is actually stale. It's a statistic. It's something that lifetime is used up once it's already been transacted or something like that. But within Payruler, and now, now we see that the data that is transactional can actually be used as an input for better decision making. So we've identified the following areas for adding analytics within Payruler. And essentially we're looking at the bookends of the employee life cycle and we're gonna be working towards performance management. We're starting off um, with Payruler Analytics for Retention, which is the project that um, is thankfully funded by the Technicom program and managed, uh, sorry, monitored by DOS TP Shirt. So we are also working closely with uh, the Asian Institute of Management um, MSDS program because they have actually provided us with the help in terms of data scientists that can help us build this technology. So, so far, we decided on retention, uh, retention because, uh, because of these statistics. Attrition is really a concern and a challenge for most companies globally and the cost to hire and train an employee is actually six to nine times worth of their salary and it takes one to two years to actually be at par with already productive employees so it is a global challenge and you really i mean all companies know that there is an adverse effect of employee turnover within an organization so we actually uh, already made strides in this so we have, we have already gone through the most of the employee, uh, sorry, of the data analytics life cycle where we've prepared the data, we've already um, created the model, we've already um, tested it, and I'll share some of the results. So we're already in the oper oper operationalizing stage. So we have 177 data points within Payruler, which is why we think this is really um, this is really something that our technology is geared to do. And 
Essentially, our project is we've identified the three most influencing factors that result in employee attrition and with a predicted attrition sorry, rate. Sorry, time's up. Sorry, with a prediction, uh, we've actually, I'll scroll all the way to the end, which is the model performance. So, so far, the precision rate has been 90% and our accuracy has been 94% uh, in the model that we've created. So, some of our enablers, we'd like to thank um, the multiple stakeholders that are in the, in the room. Uh, this is our team, we're divided between Cebu and Manila. Actually, I'm from Cebu. Uh, and if you wanna help build the future of human resource, if you wanna know more about what we do, uh, approach me. So, thank you. Thank you very much for being here.